Hi, I'm Rebecca Maxey. I'm the grade four author and grade level leader for the fourth edition of Everyday Mathematics. I'd like to describe for you some of the significant content changes in the grade four program. First, I want to mention that this edition has been entirely reworked and is fully aligned to the common core. Let's start by talking about multi-step number stories. There's an increased emphasis on representing multi-step number stories with number models, as you can see here. We ask students to use a letter to stand for the unknown. And we ask students to use estimation to assess the reasonableness of their answers. Here students are asked, does your answer make sense? Explain. In grades two and three, there's significant work done around methods and strategies for solving multi-digit addition and subtraction problems. In grade four, we do a brief review of these methods and strategies and expose children to a new method. We've included instruction on US traditional addition, as you can see here, and subtraction. Students are expected to be fluent in this method by the end of the year. Around operations, we've included more work with flexible methods for solving multi-digit multiplication and division computation, including decomposing numbers, as you can see here, with the 600 plus the 60, with partitioning rectangles, and using algorithms, such as partial products and partial quotients. We've introduced new fraction representations, fraction circles, and fraction number lines. We also have students use fraction strips and encourage them to use drawings and pictures. Students use these various representations to compare and order fractions, find equivalent fractions, and solve computation problems in number stories. There's continued instruction on finding and explaining a multiplication rule for producing equivalent fractions. There's a significant shift in decimals. We have now approached decimals as special fractions rather than as an extension of our system of whole number numeration. Students get their understanding of decimals through their understanding of fractions. There, we've included instruction on using fraction representations, seen here using the fraction circles, <clears throat> to develop strategies for solving addition and subtraction problems, particularly fractions with like denominators. Students then extend these concepts to addition and subtraction with mixed numbers. There's been more attention given to strategies such as repeated addition and representations when multiplying a fraction by a whole number. When students are given a number story, we ask them to sometimes draw a picture, to use words, to use an addition equation and a multiplication equation. There's continued work in geometry, exploring properties of shapes and classifying them based on properties. There's been increased work on angles. We've increased the focus on building a conceptual understanding of the attribute of angle size as a basis for developing facility with angle measurement. This helps prepare students for their work with the protractor and measuring and drawing angles. I hope this has provided you with a brief overview of the significant changes in the grade four content.